Hello everyone, I'm John D. Riley, researcher with Zero Point Research. Today is March 3rd and at an approximately 1.30 p.m. Pacific time today, we actually started to see a solar event that started to take place. What is different about this particular event is that it, it is an Earth-facing event. This is actually uh, one of the satellites that monitors the sun at all times. And we can actually see this event that actually just went off, actually about 1.30, possibly 1 o'clock uh, p.m. today. Now, what does this mean? If a lot of you are actually feeling the surge of energy that happened around 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon today, you can associate why. If you've actually had a perception of time shift, if all of a sudden, like, you just the way that you're feeling just drastically moved or you felt vibration in your physical body, try to feel that. Try to associate when that event happened. What I'm working to do is actually to let people consciously know our association to the sun itself and how it affects us immediately, even though it's 93 million miles away from the planet, but how we are immediately affected by it. And then two to three days later, the solar storms actually start coming and hitting the Earth. So when we look at this event, what's different about the one that just happened four days ago is that this is an Earth-facing event. The other event that went off was actually on this, on this side of the limb of the, of the, uh, of the sun. So, and that one of, actually the event that went off was actually one of the largest actually recorded. Why is this not making it into the mainstream media? Well, because this is actually the first time in actually our media history that events of this proportion have actually started to happen. So our monitoring systems, it's all a new dynamic. So the media, they're playing catch up to try to understand how it's connected and how uh, actually uh, uh, my friend Rick with Solar IMG, which is actually his website, uh, he actually you know, saw that the earthquake or the movement on the planet was going to happen from these events. So we're starting to connect the dots that the sun is very important to the connection to our energy on our planet, the cause and effect. Now, when the human system starts to feel this energy, this is where it gets very interesting. So this is, uh, you know, this is uh, the, the starting of the event, as you can see, uh, from different perspectives, we can see the, the different uh, levels of the energy from the different perspectives from the, the different monitoring systems. Now, what we're actually going to see in the next couple days, we're going to see this. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. Is we're going to see this flare here increase. I'll put a video up about this, but this particular one here, this is a really big buildup. This is a really big. Uh, 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 sunspot that is actually going to be showing some pretty interesting effects when, once it becomes earth facing. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, I just wanted to actually bring you into association of, of the actual events that are currently happening and this is one of the most important things is to realize you know this is the sun on a particular spectrum in this particular uh, event that is happening right now and I just wanted everyone to kind of feel it to see if you can actually notice the shifts. If you do, it's important because you can prepare yourselves for it. You can now stop asking, what is wrong? Why am I feeling this way? We can start associating on a higher level. This is really important to these times, is to understand the importance of the sun and how it's going to affect everything on the planet. I'll give you more later.